to my studio. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about triptych art. Uh, as you see here I've got a piece that I've completed and um, wanted to let you know that this was completely handmade. Um, so I'm going to go through the process of how I made the panels, how I put the panels together and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so before we get started, let me show you the piece of lumber that I've gotten. This is a piece of masonite. It's uh, 1 8 inch thick. It's kind of rough on one side. It's got a smooth finish on the other. And you can get this at your local lumber um, retailer. Have them pre-cut them for you. Uh, by having them pre-cut, you you're not going to have to use any kind of power tools to assemble panels like this. Um, they charge usually it's a, a very small amount to, um, to to make each saw cut but when you go ahead and get these um, measurements done and set up the way you want uh, they will cut them um, fairly accurately to get uh, to what you need and uh, and we'll go to the next step Now let me talk a little bit about some of the tools you're going to need. Uh, one will be a miter saw. Uh, this is probably the most expensive and complex of the uh, tools that you'll need to purchase uh, to get an accurate cut. Now you may be able to get a small miter box and if you're really good with a, uh, and steady with a hand saw, be able to do this. But I've, I've found that this little contraption uh, really does help make a, a really good cut. You'll need some form of a clamping device. Uh, this is a frame clamp, and it works really good. I'll show you that how that works. Of course, a little couple of hand clamps, glue. Now you've gone out and got your lumber pre-cut. Uh, the other thing you'll need to pick up is your is your bracing. Uh, this is a one by three, and uh, essentially. Uh, you'll cut this to length to, ma to match these pieces of uh, pre-cut masonite and basically you'll, you'll glue everything back together. So let me show you a couple of tricks that you have to understand. When you cut this piece of lumber, this uh, where that meets, you want to make sure that that, when you're cutting on an angle, make sure that that meets the exact measurement when you make your second cut, that way as you're as you're putting your box, your little box together, you, you won't be throwing away a lot of lumber. So uh, that's assembling your parts and getting your lumber and hand cutting your pieces together. Okay, so you've got your lumber, you've got your uh, one by threes cut to the proper length and then you want to assemble those cradle uh, pieces together this is the device that you would use um, this is a frame clamp I don't know if you can see I'll try to get this where you can see that didn't have it tight um, but each of these little corner braces fit nicely around your frame. Now you'll glue your corners together then you'll clamp it overnight and uh, of course this is your tensioner this tightens things up but you can see that holds the corners perfectly and uh, once it's glued together uh, the next day you'll come back and just imagine this is your frame already. Uh, you'll, you'll lay some glue in on top of the edge and it's just a matter of uh, clamping each piece together, letting it set overnight. Uh, and then you'll have a you'll have a nice box cradle piece of masonite. Um, I have a, 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 a link to another page that uh, will show you how to prepare this with gesso to begin your painting. Um, 
So really, all you need is your, your miter saw, your clamps, your glue, and, and a little frame clamp, and uh, you can build your own, your own uh, panels. Hope that helps. Hang on, I got a little bit more. Now what you see here is the back side of that trip dish, and I have a, a doubled wire uh, line here that uh, is screwed in at these points. This is about one third down. Um, you can see all your miter joints where they've been glued. But one thing that you probably don't notice is there's a piece of fairing strip in the middle here. And the purpose of that was so that I could line up all these panels just the way I wanted it so that when you hang the piece it's shown the same way each time. You don't have three separate panels you're trying to get all leveled up. Um, it's just a piece of fairing strip uh, that I've painted black on the edge. It's not quite as thick as the actual bracing so that it, it will appear receded. Uh, then for some, once I put that in the middle, again I used the same clamps, uh, glued both sides, clamped it together, then came back with a, a little pilot's drill and, and drilled a hole and put these, these screws in to make it even more stronger. So I've got a, a solid uh, panel that size, but uh, from the front uh, it, it looks just like uh, three separate panels. So there's your completed panels. All three uh, uh, are attached at the right height. That way all my pedals uh, are matching. And uh, I get that focus to come in a little better. As you can see, you really can't see that uh, little piece of lumber that's inside. Uh, I got a little more sheen on there than uh, cameras don't like it too much, but that's what varnish does for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, short lesson on trip tish art, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>